All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, where is it? Ah, there it is. Solo Rust is probably one of the most brutal experiences I've ever experienced in any video game. Yeah, <laughs> that's a tweet. And also very true. You see, even as someone that has played this game for many years, I've always had that fear of playing solo. But lately, I've been testing myself and my skills. Now, before I continue, just know that I don't perceive myself to be this crazy PvPer that makes crazy plays. I leave that to the big boys. No, I, I see myself as more of a tactical type player. One that takes a different approach to every situation and tries to adapt my playstyle. Every situation requires a different solution, in my eyes. I don't think they'll really expect it unless they saw me earlier or heard me earlier. Oh, here they come. Fuck, you saw me. The thing about those solutions, sometimes you just gotta wing it and think outside the box. You never know. Something great may happen. Oh wow, that's a nice door over there. Go check out the lighthouse, see if it's been looted. It probably has, but it's worth a check. But uh, solo is always like so scary for me, man. I don't play solo very often. And uh, I don't know. It's not that like I'm afraid of playing solo. It's, it's just I prefer to play with friends, you know, because it's just a little bit more enjoyable, I guess. And it's just nice to have someone that's like watching your back. And it's just, uh, I don't know, it's, I, I, I'm more of a, I'm, I'm definitely more of a social person when it comes to playing video games. I like to have someone to talk to while I play and, which is, I guess is, which is why I prefer streaming. If I play solo, I prefer to stream it so I can talk to, to you guys, you know? Ooh. Like you hear a footstep, you're just like, oh, that's probably not my friend because you don't have a friend playing with you. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's go this way. With some basic tools and a hot dog Yoka, I made my way further inland to explore the lands. I wanted to get a base down sooner than later. Open door? Uh. Um. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this area. Like we're, we're kind of in between everything. Although the fact there's this, this many rated bases it is a little concerning, truth be told. Oh god, I don't like the look of those towers up there. Okay, so whenever I see a tower next to a gas station, that's never a good thing. Like, look at this. Two, three towers right next to a gas station. Oof. I'm gonna head over this way towards these trees and see if we can find a spot, possibly. Dirty cloth. I'll make cloth. I'll make a bag for now. I know I need a bow, but the bag is kind of important. Um... This area doesn't look too bad. I, I, I'm just gonna probably smack something down here for now. If we want to move at some point, we can. But I'm gonna I'm play something here for now, just so we at least have a base. I'm gonna throw it up against this rock up here. It may not look like much, but this one by two paired with this rock marked the start of a wild adventure. head out. With the base down and secured, I headed out to kind of check out the area and get a vibe for what's going on. 
Maybe, hopefully, find some loot along the way. Although, I'll be honest, the start of this solo adventure was a tough one. You know what else is tough? Not taking care of your jewels. And I don't mean the shiny rocks. I mean the, you know, the, how do I say this without getting demonetized? Um, your package, gonads, ghoulies, nuts, testicles, there you go. Listen, I, I know how tough it is to take care of that. Sometimes you nip, snag, and accidentally tug in the wrong spots. It happens. I've been there. Trust me. But one day I was strolling through Target with the wife, and that's when I saw it. The Lawn Mower 4.0. Made by the one and only... Manscaped. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Of course, at this point, I've heard nothing but good things about them. So, I bought it. And let me tell you, it was the best decision I've ever made. Once I got home, I hopped in a hot shower and turned that bad boy on. And let me tell you, I felt like a proud dad riding his brand new lawnmower. Except, you know, that out in public, don't do that. Anyways, after this purchase, I realized I needed more. So I went online to manscaped.com and saw this, the Performance Package 4.0. It came with a lawnmower 4.0, the Weed Whacker for Ear and Nose Trimming, Crop Preserver, which is ball deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, along with some nice box briefs and a complimentary travel bag to hold all of the goodies. It was at that moment that I realized that this is a game changer. No more bad patches of pu uh, I mean grass. Grass. So, if you want to be like me, a clean and proud man with a happy wife, be sure to check out the Performance Package 4.0 at manscaped.com, along with using code BERNIE, that's B-E-R-N-E, -E, for 20% off and free shipping. All links will be in the description box down below. Now, back to the movie. Who's the douchebag leaving all the rat pills and car parts? Oh my god, that guy scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Holy fuck. No boxes, bummer. Free workbench. Ugh. I heard metal. I think someone's in there. Why are you looking down anyway? What the fuck? Yeah, there's no, there's no killing that guy. Someone else is here again. Bro! Ow! I'm hurt. Do it? Do I go in? I can easily build out. Oh, shit! I'm in pain. Dude, there's always a locked TC. Well, there's nothing. Unless there's something in the TC. Oh my god, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna stay in here. Oh, what the hell? Like, why, dude? What's the fing point? And he's just shooting out the building. Dude, I. Ugh, you mother. Everything into perspective, I couldn't find any cloth, nor could I go to a nearby monument or decayed base to farm, because someone with more gear was always there. Ah! You mother! Oh, what the hell? Like, why, dude? That's the unfortunate life of a solo, and really just someone who couldn't find any cloth or get away from this damn rainstorm. 
Yeah, it kept going for a whole nother day cycle. It got to the point of where enough was enough and I ran to the outpost. Hopefully there, I can get some cloth to make a decent weapon. All right, let's go up in here. See if we can actually get some cloth now because that's the one thing we're struggling on. Maybe we can smack some signs with our skull rock. Get some scrap going, buy some, some tack gloves. Recycle them for some cloth. This might be the move. Might be the only way, really. All right. What kind of gamers are going on here? What's going on? Any signs? I don't see any signs up in here. I think someone's just ready whacking them down. Um. There we go. After getting a bit of scrap, I bought some tacklers from a shop and recycled them for sewing kits and cloth. Now I can finally make a bow. It wasn't long till I had to use it either. Get out of here, Mr. Spearman. I saw another guy up there, but I think he ran. I know it wasn't much, but it felt good to not get killed for once. Speaking of, on my way home, I noticed something rather strange along the coast. My curiosity got the better of me, and I went to check it out. Why can I never find some goods? Do I cross the bridge? I don't know if I should. I feel like that's just death right there. This is where all the cloth is. Ooh. I think that's raided. I'm gonna go check that out. Oh. Just a naked boy. I wanna see what's going on in here. I don't want him following me just in case there's something in here I can... Like a gun or something. There's a TC in here. <sighs> Nothing. Oh. Oh. We can grab some stuff in here. Was this the TC that was uh, blocking me from over here? Oh my god, I think it was. <gasps> Let's go, dude! Oh, that's actually so big! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, yes, dude. I need all this so bad. Some furnaces? Some boxes? A research table? Is it outside? One of them kind of sounds like he has some kind of clothing on. Okay, that guy has something. He has a water pipe or something on his back. There's two of them. Oh. <gasps> oh no. I was gonna pick up those fridges. The fuck out of here. I'll come back. That's mine. Okay, that's a naked. We're good. We're good. You've got to be kidding me. Don't tell me he saw me. He's like right up there. I see him. Or I just saw him. He's up there on top of that like stone thing. He's going to see me and shoot me 100%. That guy was geared. How I wasn't spotted, I had absolutely no idea, but I wasn't going to miss out on this opportunity to get out of there, at least for now. After I got home and depoted, I thought maybe I should go back. Why? Well, at the time, I thought maybe I can catch that gear guy off guard. Did it work? Uh, no. Please, bro. I'm just solo. Please, please. Okay. And guess what my crazy idea after that was? Let's go back. Again. So I'm curious to know if the guys that drove up in that car are the ones that own this, are used to own this base. Because there was a guy that ran up while I was in there and opened the doors. 
Kind of seems like there's someone over here, but I don't think this base is uh, the king or raided. Yeah, and they might have taken it over, possibly. There's a guy in there. He has some, he has some stuff. Oh my god, I missed. No way I missed that, man. Fuck. Okay, I, I have no idea what's going on, but this guy obviously has something that is worth hiding for. So, I'm gonna wait. I don't think he's gonna open it. It's possible that he has stuff on him. That's probably why he ran inside. Because he owns this base, obviously. They're raided, so he might have some leftover stuff on him. That's, that's, the, reason, that's the only reason why I'm waiting it out. I'm not waiting out for a bow. I think he just might have some things on him. I'm sure he's gonna get impatient and leave eventually. At least I hope. I mean, he could just be waiting for a friend. But, um, I guess we'll see. Looks like it's option B, ladies and gentlemen. God damn it. It is time to get the fuck out of here, mate. Not exactly what I was expecting, but I'll take it. Okay, this next part is very important, so be sure to pay attention, because this is the beginning of our main story. You ready? So I think for now I'm gonna put that away, um, because I want to be able to research pistol bullet and make more ammo, so that way I can, uh, kind of have more shots to fire instead of just roughly two magazines. We'll go out, try to get some scrap, we already have a research table. Actually, how much scrap do we have now? 50? Okay, not... Stuff that I, uh, I actually need. Oh, shit. Well, I'm trying to, like, make my shots quick. There we go. There it is. Oh my god, dude, that made me jump. Fuck. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna have people camping me. What do I do here? Kind of a tricky situation. Come on, you little shit. Oh, he left. Oh, you fuck, dude. No way. These guys are roof camping me with a SAR. No way right now, right? This is not happening. Okay. Well, this is going to be uh, fun. Let me try something here. Okay, at least I have my front door somewhat covered. That's, that's a start. You gotta be quicker than that, buddy. Okay. That's something, right? It eventually got to the point of where I was stuck in my base for a bit, and I acted AFK in hopes that they would get bored and leave me alone. Five minutes later, I peeked my head out to check, and it did work for about 30 seconds. Okay. Um, I think the, the move here is to just try to... Avoid them as much as I can and then just go get some scrap and research that ladder. If I can research that laddering, maybe some pistol. Oh, shit. Yeah, keep crawling to me. Give me cover. Idiot. I had a strong feeling that this was going to be a reoccurring occasion, so I got out of there with the small window that I had. My first stop was Sewer Branch, actually, literally just right over the hill from the base. I didn't have a green card, but maybe I can cherry pick at the boxes and barrels above. 
I'm trying to get the wooden arrow in, but my <laughs> I'm just having a hard time doing it. Gods have spoken. I say I wish I had a green card and I get a green card and a freaking med, dude. No, I, I know this might not seem like much to some, but to me, this was a huge achievement. All right, let's see, put this med, let's put this stuff away and let's go run sewer branch while we have the chance. What the fuck is he doing? What the? Oh, switch I gotta flip or something? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh no, it's not. Nice. Oh, ladder hatch, nice. Not bad, not a bad run. Let's get out of here. Once I got that loot home, I thought it was best to make some upgrades on the base, even if it was a minor one. They're really quiet now, which is a little unnerving. I think I think I should be okay, to be honest. I mean, uh, knock on wood here, but I don't think they're gonna really have the explosives. You know, I'd like to think this is the turnaround point of this wipe. Sure, I've made some progress, but nothing too significant quite yet. And quite frankly, I really hope it hasn't bored whoever is listening to this story. If you've made it this far, I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, you get to see something great. Okay, uh, it, it wasn't that. Hold on. Was this the cave before? I don't know. If, I don't remember if this is the cave or not. Oh, there's a guy sleeping here. Oh. <gasps> We'll go back to that. We're gonna go back to it. I'm gonna take one of these satchels over there and go break the TC so I can get that tier too. Gotta be quick in and out though. Okay, let's go. Quick. Grab anything that's of value first. I didn't- <gasps> I hit my auto farm key! Oh no, I hit my auto farm key by accident. That's so awkward. Ah, oh, Papega. Top 10 Papega moments of all time. How many shells do I need to craft for the TC? I don't remember. Oh my god. 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 No, I'm just a little short. Um, well, I just got a lot of comps from there, so. Finding that decayed base was a huge win for me. It gave me the necessary tools and scrap to craft all of my basic needs to survive and defend myself. In fact, with most of the comps I just got, I did a quick run to the sewer branch and recycled. With a scrap gain from it, I would research a SAR along with ammo and a ladder. It felt good to gain that much in such short time, but I wanted more. I needed more. This is when I decided to take things to the waters and get a change of scenery. That boat is right above the labs as well, so someone might be down there. Oh, speaking of the devil.
and he's about to leave. He has a gun. Fuck. There's two of them. They went back under. And there they are right there, you see? I'm gonna wait for them here. Might as well, right? I don't think they'll really expect it unless they saw me earlier or heard me earlier. Oh, here they come. Fuck, you saw me. the other body, dude. Oh, it's right here. Okay, I don't need the rest of this. Let's go. Let's... I'm not going to say that was all skill. There was definitely some luck involved. But potato potato. Regardless, I just got a huge gain in loot. Fun part is getting it home safely. Let me up. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bro, I cannot believe that grenade throw. Like, that was actually insane. I didn't think that was going to... <laughs> what the fuck? That scared the fucking shit out of me, dude. The home stretch, baby. Oh shit, there's flashlights over there. Uh, he's... Oh no, and it's turning day, I think. Fuck me, dude. This is not good. He's literally... That's the direction I have to run from my base. Someone's behind me. He's right here. I gotta go back for that stuff after our depot. I'm not gonna get greedy. Base is just right up ahead. Come on, baby. Come on, you're almost there. You're so close. I can see it. It's in sight. It's in vision. It's literally so close. Just a little bit further. Almost there. Let's fucking go, dude. Holy shit. Okay, let's depot and run back out there. I need to go loot the rest of that stuff. Okay, we gotta back out, back out there quick. By the time I got back, there was nothing really left to grab. Whoever it was lived pretty damn close. Okay, I mean, it's fine. I still got 400 scrap from them and a few guns, so I'll take that. I'll take that as a win. Ooh, is my neighbor's back on? Sounds like it. Oh, Thompson? Yeah, he's back on. Look at him. Little weasel. Ones above me. It's a gay boy above me. A couple of them. He's right there. I see him. You see him up there in that in that little slit of the thing. What are you doing, you pega? What? What?
He's right there. I think that was a cheater? Well, my gun's up there. That sucks, but it's not that big of a deal, I guess. Come on, stand up. You know you want to. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> well, that just f***ing happened. I'm so f***ing raided. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Look, they're already shooting my stuff. After a bit of time, I finally peeked my head out. I needed to get up top and add some more square footage to this base. I just made them very unhappy, and I was so sure that they would come back with explosives. After that, I wanted to make living in my base a little bit more cozy. If I was about to have any unwanted guests, I would want it to be nice inside. Could I pull upstairs? That's what I was gonna do. far as I can place it. Like this. Oh. Okay, I can fit this here. Oh my god, dude. The one thing that sucks is if I have this big box here, I can't have my cool furnace there. But that's fine. That's okay. Dude! Oh my god, I love this base. Look at that. Put the root combiner there. Okay, let's go up top and then reconnect the power real quick, just so I can get that out of the way. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Okay, let's go connect it to the battery. Oh my god, I can put that there. What the fuck? Put these in the tool cupboard. Grab these extra ones because we don't need them. It's so dark in here. Let's see. Dude, dude. Oh my god, can we put a campfire here? That makes up for it. That makes up for it. That literally makes up for the leaning furnace not being there. Oh my god. Yes. Nice. I love it. Now that the base is now a home, I realized I needed to go out and farm a bit. It's the one thing that's holding me back. What I didn't know was that the farm run was going to turn into an altercation with the roof camping neighbors. Furnace. Okay, let's get out of here. Guess we'll head this way. I'm not sure where else to go. We just need a good farm running. Like we need, we need metal and stone. Sulfur would be nice, but it's not necessarily a big need right now. Only because I think he had a hammer, so I'm a, he might have some stone in him. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Scripted content? Hello? Did I feel bad? <laughs> not at all. But what it did confirm was that they had multiple bases, which was a concern. That meant they were a fairly larger group. And the weirdest part was they weren't around much as of now. That only means one thing. They were late night gamers. It was scary to think about, but I just had to keep trucking along. I had a feeling that this wouldn't be the last I saw of them. How deep are they? From what I've seen, there's two, maybe three of them. But there ha there's obviously going to be more if they're building this many fucking bases. Like, there's no way only two guys are building four bases, right? I'm trying to get him to come on this roof of the SAR. I, I know what type of players these are. These guys will just build multiple bases and just kind of compound them all in. I I've That's exactly what they're going to probably do. That's one of them. That's oh, that's three gear guys. Oh, my God. What Does one of them have a rocket launcher on his back? Okay, there's one. Two. And there's going to be a third one. Ready? He has a rocket launcher in his back. I think they're coming to raid me. Are they running past? 
Do I follow? I thought the dude, I thought they were about to come raid me. Oh, I wish I had a SAR here. Fuck. Where are they going? Okay, where'd they go? They gotta live here. I feel like I would have saw them if they kept going. And they're over here in this base. I don't think it's just smart for me to fight them at their base. They have too many doors. Yeah, this is not smart. I need to get out of here. Uh, honestly, like the reason why I didn't shoot at them because I thought they're going to go to my roof and start rocketing down. So I was going to wait for them to uh, start rocketing down. Then I was just going to just go off on them, you know? Obviously, they didn't do that. So that kind of ruined the plan. <laughs> it's a gear guy. Shit. He's coming out. I'm gonna go deep with this extra gun first, and I'm gonna go over there. Hopefully they don't see where I just went, because if they did, I'm fucking raided. Let's head back. Oh, f no, f the gear guys, I'm going to that. Oh, well, that's probably it right there. Okay. What is happening? Are you serious? Bro, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm I'm literally sandwiched between Oh fuck. Huh? I'm fucked. There's a guy above me. I'm stuck. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. He's going to get shot from the guys above, I think. What in the world is happening right now? Unfortunately, that is just the life of a solo. It's me versus the server. I wasn't too bummed though. Out of all of it, I did break even. Well, technically, I gained more. Look at this. I don't even know if this. Oh man, I don't know, dude. This is a this is a tough fight just because there's no cover. He's only over there. He's by that like one by one where I killed that gear guy inside. Oh, a sar along with a valuable piece of information. This was one of my neighbors, the one that roof camped me and door camped me earlier on. I thought they were offline, but turns out they were just lurking. I noticed a reoccurring thing too. They never came out with gear, only naked with a gun and a bit of ammo. Anyone that plays Rust knows how incredibly annoying this is, especially when you know they have gear. They showed me that earlier on and will do so more in the near future. These guys were acting very weird. I had a feeling they were up to no good. Although, regardless of the situation, I just had to keep doing my thing and try to build up as much as I could, which is what I did. Running labs and cargo, I was getting a decent amount of loot, up until I had to ditch because of uh, some guys in a minicopter. I had to do the longest run I've ever done across the entire map with an inventory of valuable loot and no meds. It was worth it though. Being able to get a rating tool is always worth it. This is where things get dicey though, because right when I was about to get off from a 10 hour stream, I heard something off in the distance that intrigued me. 
All right, I think I'm gonna do something here. It's a little bit risky. Okay, where's that suppressor I had? There it is. Just kind of doing a big dick run with this LR. Hopefully I can find that raid that was going on. Maybe just the, do the quick whoppity whoop whoop on him. It came from this way. These rockets always stop whenever I'm uh, whenever I'm trying to go towards them. Here we go. This is what I wanted. As I ran towards these shots, I came to the realization that this was my last run of the night. Losing this gear set wasn't really that big of a deal to me, especially with the threat of my neighbors. Really playing with fire here, that's for sure. Sorry, dude. I can't risk you running up behind me like that. Come on. God, dude. That jump has to be possible. Like, right? If the railing's not there, it's, it's not there for a reason. Come on. Yes, let's go. Okay, should be okay on this side. Ooh. They don't know where I am at all. This was definitely the raid, but I couldn't do anything that would get me loot. So I thought, let's help the people defending. Did I just, I think I killed one. Oh, oh, I think, oh, someone's shooting rockets at them. Fucking idiot. Okay, they're gone. They're gone. We're good. We're good. We're good. They left. It was still a journey. I'll take it. I'm probably going to die to a DB or something here in a second. That was still fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I almost want to go over there and see if they left anything. Do you guys think they left anything? Should I just go in there? Fuck it. If I, I mean, if I lose this LRC, I'm not too worried. I had my fun with it. <laughs> Yo, hey man, I'm, I'm, I was helping you guys during the raid. You mind if I come in? I was trying to kill off the raiders. Please don't kill me. Yo, can you guys hear me? Kept fuck. Some naked fucked me. I got banned from talk. I got fucking banned from talking in chat because I said one time. Oh well, yeah, that happens, man. This is me crouching. This is please don't kill me. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna just here to fucking see what's going on. Yo, is that um? Is oh that fuck! I spawned back at base to do some final preparations before I logged off for the night. My base was solid, but I would feel a lot more comfortable with some honeycomb. But guess what happens? Serious? Are you fucking serious? They're outside my base? Come on, man. You ain't nothing but a bitch. Stinky ass motherfucker. Those are stinky little f turds, aren't they? Look at them. 
Look at him like crouching, looking over at me. Trey me, go ahead, waste your bullets. You goofball. I'm not gonna even give you satisfaction to shoot him back. There's a gear guy outside my base now, dude. What the fuck? Ain't no rest for the wicked, I guess, huh? Like 100%, right? On their fucking roof, man. Loot this nomad too. Nomad, nomad, nomad. <sighs> fuck. Can you kindly just fuck off, like, please? You're, you're outside my base. All of these guys are together. Hmm. Well, I guess that's tomorrow's problem, huh? Hopefully they don't offline raid me, which they most likely will. Hopefully this... It was obvious that they were waiting for an advantage. They either rolled out in numbers or not at all. Even if I wanted to move right now, I couldn't. They were constantly outside my base or on the roof at this point. So, I just called it a night, and hope for the best. What? At first I thought I joined the wrong server, mostly because I didn't have a death screen saying who killed me. This has happened to me before and I still don't know how people get around that. But sure enough, I spun out a bag I had and I came to discover the ruins of my now old base.
think I think I should be okay, to be honest. I mean, uh, knock on wood here, but I don't think they're gonna really have the explosives. I think this goes without being said. It was pretty obvious to who raided me. I don't need a death screen to tell me that. And truth be told, I kind of doubted their ability to raid me. I think the longevity of my playtime yesterday kind of contributed to the blindness of that. But hey, get on them, I, I guess. Seems like I gotta take this as a loss. Till next time. <laughs> Come on, you, you didn't really believe that, right? Nah, th this is only the beginning. I got many plans for these guys. Their reign of terror will come to an end one way or another. Best part is, I got the element of surprise now. They'll come to find out that they fucked with the wrong solo. Combo, dude. Come on. Fuck, dude. Why do you need it? You're fully geared, you fucking cunt. You don't even need it. You don't need it. Why are you here? Dude, like, it's just like, fuck. Hey partner, how you doing, brother? Where did you go, partner? Fuck off. I can't see, dude. I can't fucking see this guy! Are you fucking serious? Are you serious? What do you want from me? What are you doing? Please? And he's jumping off his roof to come loot me. Oh, dude, I, I'm losing my fucking mind. I, I just can't do this. Oh my God, dude. I did. This is fucking insane. Dude, I- Annoying fucking retard. You're running from me when you have a gun and I have a bow. What do you mean? No bullets. I have no bullets. I you just no shot bullets. me with it, you fucking pussy. Get out of here. With your fucking lame ass excuses. Get out of here, pussy. 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 Anyway, that's me being toxic. I got no bullets. As he fucking shoots me with his gun. <sighs> uh, okay, listen. I was having a tough time. Like, really tough. Those that were in my stream can attest to that. And it was sincerely bringing out the worst in me. I was on the verge of quitting. But I thought, let's change things up a bit. Adapt my playstyle. Push forward. And 25 for the flippers. Yep, perfect. Let's go, dude. Hopefully there's no sharkies. Finally! Ooh. 
Oh man. Kid has a gambling addiction. Shut up, you dumbass little kid. Okay. Alright, well that was uncalled for. Fuck. My game froze? My game is literally frozen. My game literally froze. Are you shitting me? Stan, child. Okay, dude. Oh my god, dude. After a few more times of dying and pain and misery, I was finally able to craft a SAR. This was my only gun, and I thought it was best to take it to the underwater labs. Yes, it was definitely a gamble, but we don't have gear fear up in here. Someone was here recently. Food? You guys hear that? Someone's here. Someone's down there. I think I I think I should just get out of here, to be honest. Aww. Shit. Look, there he is. I'm gonna go hide. Is it dick move? I mean, there's someone already camping in here. Here he comes. See? He's down in there. Pushing a Thompson with a semi is suicide in a place like this. My best bet is to wait. Oh, the fact that it, dude, I... I the fact that he has a Thompson just makes it so much scarier because he's going to have a way bigger advantage of me in, in the fight here. Fuck you, you camping bitch! Fuck you! I know I was camping, but he was camping more than I was! I think that's it, right? Did we ditch? Springs, I need the springs. Base is right there, dude. Let's fucking go, dude! That's the come up we needed! Get out of here. This was really the start of my rapid success. I was able to finally build up the base and do some recycling to get a tier three workbench down. I then proceeded to do a ton of sofa farming and outpost trading. And while I was waiting, I heard some, uh, Interesting dialogue. Fuck you, you fucking cuck. You're probably one of those fucking... You're probably one of those little beta boy fucking snipers. Shut the fuck up. Dude, oh, that's why you break your leg. Oh, damn. 40 million. I have 50k GP. Fuck you. I have 50k GP in my 2 by one What do you got, fucking cunt-ass bitch? Fucking suck my dick. Ooh. You got him. Base cords, base cords. <laughs> uh, because this fucking game is dead as fuck and I hate it and it makes me want to fucking hang myself. Same, so dude, same. It's your fucking yeah, mouth, you exactly fucking what little saying. beta bitch. Yeah, you know, yeah, every yeah, kid has to say a mom like joke. A lonely ass virgin. Oh, Damn, I'm dude. so lonely. The, hey, 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 the better half of you ran down your mother's leg, kid. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, once I got back to base, it was just a matter of waiting. Cooking all that sulfur and metal takes quite some time, so I thought now was a better time than ever to go check in on our target. The offline raiding roof campers. I missed this. 
I missed my rock base. That's that's the lads we gotta raid right here. True. I also oh. They're on. They're talking in game again. Oh, they they griefed us so much more. This wasn't this wasn't open or uh, closed off earlier. They griefed it even more. So the hard, the, the thing I'm having a hard time understanding is where their main base is. I see them come in and out of that one a lot, but they also, this is the one, that, this one they roof kept me from. They built that one yesterday and that one yesterday. They built those two yesterday, those, those two over there. This one is the one they roof kept me from. This one they come in and out of a lot, but every time they've come out of there, they don't have like, he has like maybe a P2 or a Revy. This is the base right here. I always see them come out with gear. This one right here at the compound. And I'm assuming since they compounded it, uh, that's their main base. Let me check something. Oh, they griefed the front door too. See, that wasn't griefed earlier. Oh, he doesn't know I'm here. That guy has a gun. He has a saw or something. I really want to go into the, this compound, but I think there's a guy in there right now. So... So are we making it so like I can wrap this around and we're gonna we would like touching like your fence right here or something and we would have a gate right here coming out of this? Yes, I think that's a great idea. They're, they're planning on walling off this entire area. You hear that? I guess you want to make the gate like right here so it's kind of like even. After spying on them and listening to their plans, I think it's finally time to introduce myself once again. I wanted to ruin their wipe as much as they ruined mine. He has walls. Ha <laughs> ha, you got nothing. I'm too fast for you. I think I'm just gonna back out here and come back with some TCs. I think that's I think that's the move. Look, he's ready going up to his roof. Ready? Look at he's gonna come on his roof. Just like clockwork, they do the same thing they always do. But this time, I was ready. Where's his gun? Did his gun just poof? Where'd it go? Get a SAR. Ah! I think I should just get out of here. Fuck it. The heist. We got some low grade. I, I really wish I would have found a SAR. I don't know where it went though. It wasn't much, but I was able to take at least something from them. This was only just the beginning though. See, I, I wasn't fleeing. No, I was only going back for more resources. He's up on his roof. Now, their plans for an overly large compound are a bit stumped, but this wasn't the end of my operation. I had a couple more ideas in mind. First things first, we send a signal of war. Oh, look at that. It went upside down now. <laughs> it's gonna go this way. Oh no, it's gonna go that way now. That's so cool. Yeah. 
The idea was to be as annoying as possible. I wanted to make their time here a bit more unbearable. So I had to get creative. How do you fly those? So if you have it turned off like I do now, it goes down and to the left. If you have it turned on, it goes up and to the right. Do you watch? It's turned on now. It's gonna, you see the flag? Where, where, whichever way the flag is facing is the way the hot air balloon is going. Oh, okay, there's another hot air balloon up there. My brother. Okay, see, this it's tricky as fuck landing these, though. That's the only thing. Okay, let's go down here. Yeah, I think... Dude, they're in your compound. There it goes, there it goes. Nice. It's going inside his base, too. Let's go, let's go. Should I hide inside of it? Oh, he has a garage door. He has garage doors. That's not good. <laughs> Bitch! Look at that. It doesn't even come out with gear, dude. What a weenie. Yeah, dude. It's them same nerds. <laughs> they're in the compound. They're trying to door camp you. One's outside geared. As soon as they suicide, I mean, you at least have a shotgun. That's what you think, loser. Oh, they leaving. What the f Oh, is he outside of the gear now? Oh, he has a gun. He has a gun. Ah! I'm coming for you, bitch. Look, he runs straight inside as soon as I get close. These guys are just so scared. Look at this. This is all they do. Well, I guess that was my final attempt. I'm at a low grade now. Bitch! Oh, it's, you're fucked, dude. Here I come. Okay, ah! I think it's time for Plan C. Kill myself here so I don't fly my body. Plan C is to build a tower outside their base and shoot at them with a suppressed revolver. Give me that revolver. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so goofy. Plan C. A very simple yet effective plan. Using one of the TCs I placed earlier on, I will build a tower overlooking their base. From that tower, I will shoot at them with one of the worst loadouts in the game. A revolver with a suppressor. Yeah. It does like no damage, but that's that's kind of the point. It's just meant to piss them off and of course waste their meds. I like to call this a roof camper's medicine. Are you the same people that we evicted over here? <laughs> oh, where's that guy? Oh, you're, you're mad, huh? You're mad that you're being assholes and we, we uh took your base from you? <laughs> Come on, you fucking weenie. I'm outside. He's coming up, he's coming up. Take him opening doors. He's building a tower. Ah, motherfucker, how does it feel? What the 
fuckers. <laughs> this is when things start to get a little weird. I would get nothing but invalids and they would hit nothing but headshots. Oh god, what the fuck was that noise? Oh! I'm sorry, what? I didn't want to assume anything though, but what I did know for sure was that I wasn't going to be able to raid these guys anytime soon. At least, not online. There was easily three of them as of now, and even if I wanted to raid them online, all I had was explosive rounds. Plus, in the grand scheme of things, they don't really deserve that kind of effort. So, what was I going to do? Well, <laughs> log off, of course. But not for the night. I kind of learned my lesson on that. That's just what I wanted them to think. Okay, so far there's nothing really happening around here. That's, it's a good sign. But there's a few things I want to check first. This base was so simple, yet so confusing. But after some time of looking at it, I believe the best course of action was to blow through the back wall, the one with the foundations too high to build off of. This seemed like the biggest mistake in opening to the base, and knowing he had garage doors, the cheapest option, especially with only having explosive rounds. Now, as the time to raid comes upon us, I just want to make it clear that even though they had multiple bases, my eyes were only set for this one, what I saw as the main base. This obviously was a larger group, and as it seemed, they each had their own individual homes. But this is the one that caused me the most problems since the beginning, and I was about to make them pay one way or another. It was at this point I realized I didn't have enough to continue, but that doesn't mean I was going to stop. After I destroyed their bags and shot out the rest of my explosive rounds, I left the compound to gather more stuff. At this point, it was 3.03am, and my wife came into my office to see what I was doing. 
After explaining the situation, she saw what needed to be done and logged on to help me farm and cook sulfur. Without her, I wouldn't be able to get it done as fast as I did. Ironically enough, we met through Rust. Kind of crazy to think about, really. Anyways, back to the story. After about 30 minutes of farming and cooking, I headed back to the raid once more to finish up. I was determined to get my revenge. I'm about to break the wall. Oh, I got TC. Oh my god. I actually got a lot of stuff. Got an AK. A full metal set. This is my full metal set. God. I feel a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> it may not seem like a lot of loot, but after consolidating everything into one big box and my inventory, there was a ton of stuff. From guns to scrap, gear, and even my two large furnaces I had from when they raided me. I was happy and satisfied. Not because of the loot, but because I got my revenge after 37 hours of hard forbidding work, and all within a matter of two days. At this point, I was extremely deprived of sleep, but I had one more thing to do. It was something that became very important to me since this offline raider himself said it earlier on. Are you the same people that we evicted over here? What's that man? Oh yeah, if you can get in here, uh, there's a ladder. Try to get in here and whatever, if you can get inside, I'll give you the rest of the stuff. Come to this side. Come to this side. Come towards my voice. You see this little, like, little hole right here? You see that? Oh, shit. Oh, nice. So I'll just take one, yeah? Yeah. And then you see the ladder? It should be like on one of these walls you're next to. I believe in you. Don't come in yet. There's a turret. All right, you should be good now. So what you do? Are you are you leaving or something? I am. Yeah, I, I just wanted to raid these guys, and I did my job. So now I'm gonna leave. <laughs> you can have whatever's left. There's plenty of stuff in here. There's some tarp up there. I know you asked for tarp. Holy shit! Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Oh, oh. I got raided twice. Oh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a duo, with, but my friends are not really on much, so I kind of... I, it was a big clan from a big snow base. There was like 12 of them. God, you're an absolute lifesaver, dude. Got you, man. I know he has a farm, like, up above <laughs> oh, that no you can pick way. up into. I didn't really bother going up, but it's, like, literally right up above this way. Like, up above that square. After a little bit of sharing tales and stories of our wipe, I left him to do whatever he wanted with the remainder of the base and loot. In the end, none of that really mattered to me. What mattered was sending a message. A message that told them to be careful about messing with someone just because they're solo. 
Now, as the story comes to a close, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It was one hell of a journey, and I'm glad to have you here to share it with. If you made it this far and enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button and maybe drop a sub. <laughs> Would love to see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe. And that's a wrap.